All right, YouTube fans, here we are once again. Four-time Mr. O.J. Cutler here in Las Vegas, ready to shoot this chest training video. And I know it's not International Chess Day, it's a Thursday. That's just how our routine falls. So you guys are gonna see a few techniques. I know you guys have been following along, subscribing to the channel. I wanna give you guys the perfect content. But until then, we're gonna show you our chest routine, and then uh, we're gonna talk about a couple things at the end of workout that maybe you guys might be motivated and uh, might want to hear from me. So come on in, let's, uh, let's knock out this chest on a Thursday. Come on in. All right, so first exercise, and any of you guys that follow me through my career know that I like to do like hammer strength uh, incline presses to kind of start my routine, only because I think it's just better on the joints, so I don't really start with as many compound movements, especially at my age now. So I'm gonna use the, this machine, which isn't a hammer strength machine, but it's, it's similar to it, um, free motion machine. We're really just gonna get a good contraction. Two warm up sets and three to four working sets is gonna be the first exercise incline press. All right, let's get to it. Okay, movement number two is gonna be incline dumbbell press. So with these, remember, we're just trying to you know, work the chest once again. I know we did a first exercise doing uh, presses with a machine incline. I just like these doing a lot better, a little more time and attention with the chest. Remember, the negative's important, explosive out of the bottom. Do not lock out, okay? Don't bring the triceps in. So you're gonna notice it's just like a barbell, but a little more unilateral movement. Um, this really is gonna contract the chest, um, build a little more control. Obviously, the core is involved. 10 or 12 repetitions, uh, same as most of the other sets, okay? So three, three sets. All right, guys, third exercise is gonna be the pec deck or your uh, fly machine, okay? So a lot of gyms have this equipped in there. Uh, same thing, 12 repetitions. Really gonna now, since we do two pressing movements, we're really gonna open the chest up and expand the tissue by stretching it. Remember, you wanna pump it, okay, then stretch it open so you can expand some more of the fibers to open up, and then we'll do another pressing movement just to guarantee that we get more blood in there. And we'll probably finish it one last stretch exercise. So probably a total of five different uh, exercises, three to four sets each one, 12 repetitions, okay? So third exercise, here we go. Okay, with this movement, remember now, the chest it needs to stay up, okay? Uh, shoulders stay back. You never want to round the shoulders, okay? Sometimes keeping the head back is gonna allow you to get more contraction in the chest. Okay, sometimes when you bury the head, you tend to lean over a little bit. So make sure you keep the head back, chest up, shoulders back, really contract the chest, okay? Great exercise, stretch the chest, tear up those extra muscle fibers, and then fill it back up with blood. All right, exercise number four is gonna be uh, the dips, which biggest question I get with the chest, how do I work that outer portion, the lower pecs? Number one, you gotta lose enough body fat, but most importantly is you gotta do an exercise that's gonna hit that lower portion and that outer, which is gonna be the dips, okay? Leaning in, okay? Legs are gonna be behind us. We're gonna lean in, get that really squeezed. Try to squeeze at the top, really contract that chest. 10 or 12 repetitions. Okay, we only might get 10. I weigh quite a bit still, so I'm gonna do this. Uh, three sets, okay, so check it out. Squeeze that chest. Every rep at the top, squeeze that lower chest. All right, so last exercise is gonna be the Smith Machine flat bench press, and, and any of you guys know the real bench press is very difficult for a bodybuilder to do just because of the uh, shoulder joint. 
and I never really did them a lot in my routine. I just, anytime I went heavy, I had al almost pec tears on those. So I stick with a Smith machine, a little more contraction, a little more balance with the machine itself. But we're gonna focus on doing three sets, same thing, 10 to 12 repetitions. Our, our final exercise, I'll uh, really get the contraction out. And I think it's the number one builder for chest is gonna be your basic bench press. So whether it's dumbbells, uh, machine press, or um, Smith machine in this case is gonna be probably the best exercise to build it overall chest. And, and the confusion is a lot of people think the mid chest, the, the upper chest, the lower chest, you have to isolate those, it's impossible to isolate. I think this hits the overall chest, gives you that fullness and uh, whether it's a beach body or a body you wanna be on the stage for, uh, stick to that basic bench press is gonna be key to your success in that. Alright guys, that's going to wrap up chest training, five different movements, uh, three to four sets each. I kind of didn't keep count, but uh, most importantly, remember chest training, I know it's the ba most basic movement that everyone gets to the gym, uh, they hit the, the chest training, but they focus too much on the weights. It's all about the contractions, okay, and picking exercises that don't hurt. For all you guys that write to me and say, hey, this hurts if I do bench press or barbell this. There's so many variations you can do now. So make sure if it hurts, don't do it, okay? Massage therapy, you know, see a doctor, whatever you need to do to try to resolve the issue if it does hurt, because usually this could be a muscle strain or a tear in there. But most importantly, go by feel, okay? You have to do the exercises that you feel the most. You want to get repetitions, expansion of the muscle. That's the most important thing. And variations of exercise. Remember, angles is what's going to build an all-around muscle. So it's not like we just go in and we do curls for biceps like with dumbbells, one, one exercise for 10 sets or 12 sets. You've got to hit the angles, you know, lock the elbow in. Just like with the chest, incline, flat bench, fly movements to open it up. Remember, you can do dumbbell flies, you can do decline presses. There's no right or wrong. Everyone has to find the exercise that work best for them and the exercise of the best. Now next week, when I do chest again, which is once every five to seven days, I'm gonna do different exercises probably depending on where I'm training, what time I'm training, how I feel, who's on what machine. It's all about variation, keeping variety in your routine, okay? I'm training with partners, someone to give me a push, give me that rest time between each set, still 45 to 60 seconds. Really just kind of keep that intensity up. Get in there, hit the muscle, get out of the gym and feed it, okay? So, Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys hit subscribe if you guys are just watching this video for the first time. If you're not a subscriber to the Jay Cutler TV YouTube, thank you guys so much for the support. We are gonna put out so much more content. We got a diet segment coming to you guys. We got a Q&A coming to you guys. Just keep tuning in. Thank you guys so much for the support. I appreciate it. And remember, these videos are for you guys. This has nothing to do with my career, anything else anymore. This is through experience. I've already been to the highest level of professional bodybuilding, now living on the other side, fighting father time with age. But most importantly, I have a lot of knowledge for you guys. So you got young guys watching, you could be tomorrow's superstars. Believe in yourself. Keep following the routines of the top guys, your favorite pros, your favorite YouTubers. You never know where it's going to take you. Until next time, I'm four-time Mr. Olympia. We're out. Thank you guys so much.